Yo, we back. It's a famous clap. Uh, so I made a beat. I didn't record me making a beat. I don't know why. I was just sitting there and I was like, damn, I'm going to make a vibe. I'm just going to chill, you know. You ain't doing nothing. Should have recorded me making this beat because it came out fire. I didn't think it was going to come out this way. I was just testing some waters out. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to tell you everything I did, all the elements, show you the automation stuff I did in there. It's not EQ, so I guess I'll EQ it with y'all. Okay, all right, let's get into it. First off, Ableton Live, gang, always. I uh, got my free upgrade to Ableton Live 11 when it drops next year. Shout out to Ableton, y'all the best. And so we're gonna get into it. First, I got this guitar right here. No sample, it's me. that layered it with this pad I found in Piggies. Piggies is undefeated, bro. Come on. Yup. And then layered that with the, this sound that I got from Piggies as well. Play a little, little pop, pop, pop on the push. I froze them and flattened them so they're audio files. Just to save CPU is a good thing. Take you to the automations right here. Glitch two. I got glitch open um, right here. Just a tape stop. The last. Uh, Let's barge it in so it just gives it that. Uh, let's see if I can get it. So it does that. Automation's easy. You put it on there. Turn automation on with that little button. Go to the whatever you want. I want it glitch to. I turn it on device on. You select your points and you move it where you want it on and you turn it off and then you keep it off for the rest. And then, I mean, this don't matter. It's not going to be saved. Attention to any of that. So yeah, we got that. We'll go into the drums, the drum group. We got our snares in perks. It's like a little snare bongo thing. I just chopped up a sample up uh, and add it, add it kicks to it. We got your hi hats, and then this is what the hi hats sound like normally. Added M rhythmizer to it. Select this, messed around with these a little bit. Do 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 do. Get a little triplet right there. Bo shebang. Got these rises and these crashes. Just you know, to add a little pizzazz to it. You know, I just wanna. You always wanted to add pizzazz to your music. Wow. And then I got these heartbeat sounds in the beginning. Not my heart. In random places, I added this flute type thing, you know, just to give it a little more. It was it just, it, it's good by itself, but I felt like it could have just, had a little bit more to it so just like I threw in this right here yeah. and that's really it I did throw automation on the group the drum group just to take it out right here and right here just during that first verse type thing and automation is really really easy like I said turn it on Mixers, what you want, turn speakers on and off. You can do panty, volume, fade, pick what you want. Go to here, you press one, two, and you'd be like four, and you pick these two, pull it down or up. Like, okay, and then this is what it's gonna do it's pan center right at 
it's going to start dropping at this point start going up at this point and going back and if you want to just go straight left to right just do a straight line like that just had everything playing just like it comes in punches you in the face then it just goes into the uh just the guitar just guitar and the drums you know for like a verse second part of the verse uh it has the 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 flute thing so like it'll just go the crash Left side got a pain to the left. Just a little, just a little flavor. And then it, it's out. It's the second part of the second part of the verse. Then got a chorus. Then yeah, the chorus is just everything again with the little flute playing. So you got the riser. like R&B, um, any like pop, anything. You want a lot of room for the vocalist to do your thing. You know, you only want a few things. You don't want a lot of like melodies that go da -da 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 like a lot of plucks and all that stuff because then it's just competing with the artist and you don't want to compete with the artist because you want them to buy your beats. They are going to they are going to shout out to Matt. They are going to <laughs> uh, do their thing and put the melody on top of it because they're the most important instrument. So remember that, kids. So then after that, it goes into this kind of like pre verse breakdown. <laughs> fades out and then it goes into the second verse <laughs> like a little four on the floor type beat just to finish off this verse so it's just to the course to the course compressor side chain yo melody so you kick so when the kick comes in the melody ducks out so the kick sounds louder pro tip just throw that on this one and throw that on this one and throw that on 
This one? Another one. That's it. That's simple, right? I made this beat in like 20 minutes. Got all the elements done. I just EQ'd it right now. And it is good to go. Hey, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. And I'm going to keep the content coming, y'all. Peace.